Lil Durk had a problem. Lock in for this one. Now, for those of you that don't know, Lil Durk was just arrested by the feds for somebody. But more specifically, hiring someone to do it, which is bad. Because now there's no way to say, oh, it was an accident. We were, no, you planned and organized this whole thing. Everyone's mm -hmm. getting life. Now, I want you to take a look at this young man back here. As many of you know, this is King Von. And this whole story starts with him. King Von and Lil Durk go way back. Like them boys grew up together in the same neighborhood. Now, King Von gets by none other than Quando Rondo's friend. Quando Rondo's a rapper from Georgia, but he had some problems with King Von. We're not gonna get into that story though. King Von catches Quando Rondo outside of a club. Now, as you're probably aware, King Von's about that action. So as soon as he sees Quando Rondo, listen closely, he rushes towards him. Now I'm gonna tell you how the law works while explaining all this. King Von rushes towards Quando Rondo, fish up. Okay, at this point, no one has to go to jail. But King Von's friends start going towards their car, start clutching at their waist a little bit. Now, in the southern regions of America, if you're Quando Rondo and or any of Quando Rondo's friends, basically anything goes. Anywhere else in America, they tell you, if you could run away, you should run away. Down in the south, they say, let them things fly. So Quando Rondo's friend gets out of their car and lets some things fly at King Von. And well, King Von passes, the courts go, well, we in the south, so it's what it is. Wait, what's he doing with his fingers? The court said, Quando. Quando said, huh? They said, we don't like all this, that, and that. We better not see nothing crazy happen around you. Quando said, all right, something crazy happened around him. He just kept getting at around his city. Now, are you paying attention? We have three different groups involved right now. We have Quando Rondo and his friends. We have Lil Dirt, King Von and his friends. And we have the courts and police. If it's not complicated for you and me to figure out, it's not complicated for the police to figure out. They say, okay, so Quando's group, King Von. Now Quando's getting at. Might be King Von people. But they can't mm -hmm. just go and arrest Lil Dirk, so the police have a plan. Police lock Quando Rondo up on stuff he might have done in the past. They don't really care. They just want information. But they let him go soon after. But now, before he leaves the state of Georgia, he has to ask the courts. So police are basically going to know his location at all times. Now let's take a trip over to Chicago. Look now, if they knew his location, then how did his cousin get... You understand where I'm coming from? And that's where I'm a little thrown off. It's like, if, I think that they should have did their job and did they due diligence to make sure that his cousin didn't get a part of it because he was a victim of this and they knew it. Before he leaves the state of Georgia, he has to ask the courts. So police are basically See? gonna know his location at all times. Now let's take a trip over to Chicago. Lil Durk wins two keys of the city. He's doing great things for the community. But meanwhile, all over the internet, you hear people saying, slide for Vaughn, slide for Vaughn. Meaning get revenge for King Vaughn. But Lil Durk was coming out with songs saying, yo man, I'm changed, bro. Lead the streets behind. Police were like, that's a stand up guy. But then there were other songs. Other songs saying, maybe I got revenge, maybe I didn't. I just wouldn't tell you. Police were like, what? Here's where it starts to get really wicked. It's sunny Los Angeles, California. Quando Rondo takes a trip. Lil Durk is there. But they don't interact. They're both popular rappers. You know, Lil Durk's doing interviews. Quando Rondo's driving down a very rich neighborhood. Specifically, the Beverly Center. Rich has a lot of tourists and all that. Police do not want anything bad to happen here. But well, this is where Quando Rondo gets at. Police basically teleport to the location. Quando Rondo's okay. The people who at him, gone. But his best friend. So now it's on. Federal agents step in. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into the story. Remember when I told you Quando Rondo was at the Beverly Center? Well, I lied to you. He was across the street at a gas station. That's when he got at gas station. Wow. Oh, they just checked the cameras. They see the people do it, but they had ski masks on. Police are like, hmm, remember everything I told you in the story. Police are like, Quando's people, King Von. King Von's people is Lil Durk. Where was Lil Durk? The feds find out he was in Los Angeles. They say, cool. Wow. Did he have anybody else with him? They find out like five other people associated with Lil Durk were in Los Angeles. So then they do the same thing the feds and police always do. To get to the king, you gotta go through the other pieces. And how wow. you get to the other pieces is simple. Wait till someone messes up. Same thing that happened to Young Thug. Police should be like, hey, something crazy happened out in LA. We kind of think it was you. So we just finna give you 70 years, no biggie. The person be like, shh, shh, shh. Police would be like, shh, shh, snitch. <laughs> just tell, we know you know Young Thug and them. Just tell us. Lil Durk's case, we know you know Lil Durk and them. And well, the person must have turned it. That's the most messed up part about these organizations because they are solid guys. They solid people that have been through solid things, but 
it's not as solid when they offer people 100,000 years. It's just the reality. To be honest, because Lil Durk and a bunch of people get arrested. Lil Durk said, how y'all know? At least they, you know, going through the ponds type, but the police are not there yet. So let's dive into the story a little deeper. Are you keeping up with the story so far? Lil Durk and his people arrested. One person is assumed to be saying it. That being said, let me tell you what the feds know. And the whole time, I want you to think, could they have figured this out on their own? That's why you always hear in rap songs, we got the paperwork, we know you a snitch. Okay, right off the bat, Lil Durk's name is not listed in the court documents. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, wasn't he arrested? Well, he was arrested. But since in the United States, you're innocent until proven guilty, you're called a co-conspirator if you're part of a group that did something wrong. But a lot of times it's so obvious who you are that it doesn't matter if they put your name or not. That's how this article is able to basically guess all the people wow. who might have conspired with Donald Trump. So documents will say something like, well, this is what they actually said. After King Von got co-conspirator one who owns a record label in Chicago and was really close to King Von, offered to pay to have Quando Rondo that being said, from this point on, there's other co-conspirators in this story. So we're gonna make up our own names. Co-conspirator one is now Co-Dirk. Okay, wow. now let's get really wicked. After Co-Dirk offered to pay someone to Quando Rondo, someone said, yes, I'll take that job. Co-Dirk says, you got the job. Boom, now we have our conspiracy. Now, now, keyword conspiracy, that means if any of these guys, let's say, are selling something on the side they're going to put connect everybody to that as well now it becomes operation you know what i mean so it, it's going to get crazy now it's own it's quite literally like hiring somebody to paint your house you go through a contractor then that contractor hires all the people gets all the equipment then they say is this good then you say yes and that's who the police want how do you get to those people well just go ask the painters now there's something i forgot to tell you that contractor that we keep talking about that Coderk hired yeah his name is in the documents that means he's cooked. Remember what I just told you, Dirk can't be named innocent until proven guilty. Mm. What that mean for somebody that they actually named? So what do we have so far? Coder, we're not saying it's him, I don't know. For sure hired Jeff, we are saying it's him, we know. Then Jeff hired John and Joe, we know it was them too. But then there's another <laughs> guy, another guy that Jeff hired, we know it was him, but we're not gonna tell you his name. That's when the questions start getting asked. Hold on, FBI said all of the contractor's names except one. Would saying his name put his life in danger? Well, let me tell you the rest of the story and you tell me. So Coder gets a call, ring, ring. Quando Rondo's in LA. So Coder said, <laughs> I guess I'm taking a trip. Jeff, Jeff said, huh? Get your people, John, Joe, and we'll call him Painter, Painter, meet me in LA. Jeff said, you got it. John, Joe, Painter, attention. They said, sir, how are we gonna get to LA? Jeff said, I don't know. Coderk, how are we going to get to LA? Coderk said, I'll pay for your flight. But then Coderk realizes if they all fly to LA, that would be stupid. So he tells them, y'all go to San Diego, I'll go to LA. San Diego's the city right next to LA. You just drive up to LA. So Coderk calls his flight booker, who's also important to the story and is also unnamed. Coderk says, flight booker, fly these guys over to San Diego, but don't put their real names. That would be stupid. Flight Booker says, sir, that would be stupid. Hangs up. Wow. What did he just say? I don't know. Hey, Jeff, John, uh, Joe, Painter, give me your real names and your ID so I can book your flight. Flight Booker uses all their real names and identity, then uses Lil Dirk's companies, the actual Lil Dirk's companies, company car. So Lil Dirk could save some money on his taxes, of course. Flight Guy then texts Cole Dirk, says, Cole Dirk, just to let you know, Dave Arad, hear their name, Dave Arad. Cole Dirk said, oh, he's stupid. Ring, ring, he gets a call, he says hello. He said, hey, Coderk, this is your bank. We just wanted to confirm some purchases for a flight wow. and a rental car, a white infinity. It's Shh. all under your very traceable company card. Coderk says, yes, confirm. I want to save money on my taxes. Yes, all the purchases, including the rental car, were made under Lil Dirk's company's name. The FBI probably said, you can't make this up. So Jeff, wow. Joe, John, and Painter arrive in Los Angeles in a white infinity, and they follow Quando Rondo. Again, to that gas station, there's cameras everywhere in Los Angeles. They pull up, Quando Rondo's friend was outside, you know the rest. Jeff, Joe, John, Painter then head over to get some food, and they discuss how Coderk is going to pay them. They fly back over to Chicago, they came from Chicago, by the way, where Coderk is from, and Coderk mm. pays them. Now, there's so much more detail given by the it's feds crazy. that people think, okay, somebody must have been wearing a wire. Well, most likely not, because as soon as the FBI hears someone's about to get they need to step in. Now, there's a little more to this whole thing. So let's just assume Coderk pays them all their money, the FBI figures the whole thing out, but then they need to prove it. So they look for the weakest link, 
They call him in and say, boy, come on. He says, why? The FBI says, your name is on the flight and the rental. He says, let me see. Oh, God. Yeah. oh that's me. <laughs> you trying to hear me see? <clears throat> and then he gives everyone up so he can get less time. Hold on. The courts are going to be like, well, how do we know he's not lying? So the feds have to corroborate, confirm the story. So they might double check with the flight person. Did Jeff, Joe, John, and Painter take a flight? Flight booker might be like, uh, no. So the feds would be like, okay, cool. You going to jail too. They got somebody. So flight booker might tell them everything they need to know. Now, there was like two other names that they didn't name. Who told Coder that Quando Rondo was going to be in L.A.? Oh, yeah, they got that guy, too. He said, I did. I told him. So now you're wow. a jury and you hear all this information. Mm -hmm. like, but there's another catch. All of the people that gave all this information need to say it again in court. Because if they don't, then the feds could have technically made all this up. So now you can understand why they block out these people's names for their protection. So to make a long story short, it's not looking very good for Dirk. Now, with all of this information that we looking at right now, I mean, this is a big case. Um, the reason that I actually dived into this case is because I never really dive into any case that goes on in the culture of hip hop in which I represent. <laughs> Shout out to the people that made it to this part of the video that actually want to hear what I got to say. I feel that um, you are a victim of the people that you are around. And that's just the way that it goes down sometimes. You know, whoever booked that hotel is a person that is a part of your entourage and whatever rules you gave them and whatever instructions you gave them, that's the instructions that they went by. Um, I just would hope, you know, that these guys are so much soldiers that they're willing to take charges because if they're willing to take charges, then, you know, to clear out a lot of things and make it a little bit easier for Dirk, but it's not looking real good. I mean, with his record, it's not looking good. He could be facing life or the D penalty. So I don't know how we're going to um, figure this one out. Um, what are your guys' view? Man, let me know what your view is. A lot of you guys sit here, watch the video, you get to this part of the video, and never tell me what you actually feel. Tell me what you feel about this. Let me know your view about this whole thing that's going on right now in the culture. I'm at 56,000 subs. I need 100,000 subs by the end of the year, so hit that sub button, hit the top bell. I'll see you on the next one.